Hey everyone, it's Jojo and I'm here to do a makeup tutorial. So I'm here to do the Jungle Fever makeup tutorial. So I have on my um, Lion King tank. This is Leave You Behind in the Past. It's a line from the movie. To do with, for my, Lion King, for my uh, Jungle Fever tutorial. So I have a lot to talk about. Um, there's a lot going on in my um, Life, there's a lot of shit going on, and I just wanted to discuss some things. Um, we're going to delve into the Secret Garden palette for this tutorial. I really want this is from Bella Beauty Block, and I really want to delve deep into the greens and the yellows. That's going to be the vibe today. So, um, yeah, so we're going to do that. The fragrance of the day is going to be uh, Golden Mango Lagoon for Beth and Body Works. Okay, so let's get into this jungle fever, girl. Um, listen, I guess I'll start off with, there's a new Lion King trailer that came out, the, the prequel, the Mufasa prequel, um, live action, whatever you want to call it, movie. So um, the trailer just came out, the teaser trailer to that. And um, you know what? I'm not... I'm gonna keep it real, and this is not a popular opinion because the movie did so well in the box office, but I do not like the live action film. The cartoon is my favorite. I love the cartoon. The Lion King in 1994, that was my mom's favorite Disney movie too. It was the best. I also love the sequel, the um, Simba's Pride. Um, yeah, I mean, but this one, I don't know. I didn't like the live action that came out a few years ago. Um, I feel like, the words weren't matching the cat, the the voice, the, the mouths. It it really was a like a word for word, literal. Like, listen, I know it's a it's a sequel. It's a, not a sequel. It's like a reboot or whatever live action adaptation of the cartoon. But I don't like when it's word for word. Like, you know exactly what they're about to say. Like, it literally was word for word. Like, there was not like one thing different about that film. But we'll see what the what the uh prequel will bring us but i don't know i wasn't a fan it did so well in the box office but i think it's because the cartoon was so good that everyone was like having high hopes for this one and i don't know i don't think it really received well as the box office tickets like i know it made it good in the box office but i don't think it got received well i think people were just buying it because it was like a money grab you know all right so i'm gonna go into um I'm gonna go into. I guess I'll go into Water Lily first. Just put this in the crease. Also, Snow White. So finally, we got a trailer to Snow White, the live action Snow White. Um, okay, so Snow White was never my favorite cartoon growing up. It really wasn't, but I did like it. Now. There's a lot of controversy going on with that movie. The actress said some crazy shit that really derailed this trailer because it was supposed to come out a long time ago. <clears throat> they filmed this movie, I think in 2021, and I think it was supposed to come out in 2023 or whatever, like last year, maybe this year, but they derailed it so long because of the comments she was making. I don't remember the comments she made. She made some kind of comments. I don't know about her race in the movie or something something to do with her race I have no idea she's Latina and we know like Snow White is white as a fucking ghost but she's not actually like like this dark Latina where like you like, you know what I mean like she still looks pretty white to me you know what I mean like it's not like she's like this dark skinned like Latina here um, but she made some kind of weird comments. I don't remember what it was if you guys remember let me know down below but that's not the only controversy with this film the dwarfs Okay, now I see what they're talking about because now that I saw the teaser trailer, it does look a little ridiculous. Um, it's one thing to do like, you know, computerize like animals in the film or whatever, but to computerize like little dwarfs, it's a little weird. Like I feel like they could have done little people or they could have even had like kids and maybe like made them CGI or maybe even made their makeup really old or whatever. Like. They could have done a lot more than just do just a whole computerized fucking like thing. And it's literally, it looks a little ridiculous. 
I will say that it does. It does look ridiculous. They could have definitely, and a lot of people were mad about that because they were like, there's so many like little people actors that could have done this role and they decided to do a computerized version of it. And it's, yeah, I, I'm with them with that. I'm with them with that. I don't like that they did that. I definitely don't like that they did that. You know, it's, it, it was a little weird. But the movie overall looks good. You know, it looks like the live, it looks like a live action of the cartoon. Like literally like it looks from what I can see, like literally what the cartoon was. So we'll see. But Snow White in general was just not, never my favorite. Um, but we'll see, we'll see. I'm, I'm definitely, okay, now I'm gonna go into Ivy, the shade Ivy. Like, you know, I, I am intrigued. I'm gonna watch it. I like Disney films. By the way, talking about Disney, okay. So, I just booked my Disney trip today. Yes, I'm doing the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. And I booked the um, the Disney tickets as well. I might do Universal as well. If I have enough for Universal Studios and Horror Nights, I'm going to do that as well. But we're definitely doing the Disney. We're definitely doing the Disney. So, I just booked that. Um... The plan is not, I'm not gonna stay at this crazy, like expensive resort, right? I was thinking of staying at a nice resort, but thinking at it, I mean, we're not gonna even spend any time at the hotel. We're gonna be spending all the time in the theme park. So there's really no point to spend so much on like a nice hotel where we're not even gonna be there, you know? But I still don't wanna like, you know, stay at like a rinky dinker. Cause I always, you know me, I always have bad luck with, with hotels. I just always do for some odd reason. But my friend stayed this here there before and she said it she said good things and I don't even remember what the name was. It was some I don't remember the name of, of the of the hotel, but she said she likes it and it is what it is and yeah, so we might just stay there. So the plan is because um the next makeup tutorial I do is probably gonna be after the trip. Because my trip, we, we actually, okay, we were going to do October, but everything was too expensive and a lot of things were sold out already. So we decided to do the end of September, middle of September. So we, our trip is not the way. So, um, uh, what was I going to say? Um, so yeah, our trip is a month away and I was going to film the, a full makeup tutorial, but I may have to do that after I come back from the trip. And then in the tutorial, tutorial I'll be telling you guys how the trip was, but I'm going to be vlogging the whole time. So you guys are going to see the vlog. I'm going to be vlogging the whole time, 100%. We're going to be vlogging. So what the plan is, is we're going to arrive there that day and then we're going to, um, we're going to do the, the Mickey's Not So Scary that day. So we're going to go to the Magic Kingdom, you know, chill at the Magic Kingdom, do rides. And then the Mickey's Scary Party starts, I think, at 5. So we're going to do that. And then the following day, we'll do, like, Hollywood Studios. The next day, we'll do Epcot. And then the final day, we're going to do Universal Studios. And then the next day, we'll go home. So we, we have, like, a four or five day trip. Um, so that's the plan. That's the plan. Um, that's the plan. Okay, so, um, and I'm really excited because I never did the Halloween. I've over, you know, I've been to Disney a million times before. We just went in February for the day. I did the Christmas one before. I've done like just a million times. I've never done the Halloween once. I'm very excited. I'm very excited for the Halloween one. Um, yeah, so that's on that. Okay, now I'm gonna go into Escape, the shade Escape. This is a dark green. So, put him in the frame. I'm trying to like. <laughs> what was my last makeup tutorial? I forget now what my last makeup tutorial was. I forgot. What the hell that my last makeup tutorial was? Um. I think it was, oh, the, um, the cruise, the boat one. Okay, so I've, okay, so let me talk about PA. So I've been to PA the last, uh, last couple of weeks. I've been 
traveling to PA uh, frequently. Um, so the first time I went to PA was August, beginning of August for my friend's birthday. She had um, the deck to her 20s birthday party. She was turning 30 years old. And it was a really good time. She had it at her house and we had to wear black, you know, to mourn her 20s. And it was really cool. She had like 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 um, prayer cards and um, she had like a like a coffin trail, a coffin cooler. And um, she said the whole thing, everything was black, decorated black, um, really nice, really good. She did a really good job on the party. Like she really, really did. It was a really nice party. Uh, really, really cute. I had a good time. I was dancing. She has this duck. His name's Donald. She's a special with Disney World, so Donald. And she had another duck called Daisy, but she passed away. But then they found out last minute that actually was not a girl. It was actually a guy because he had balls. So he had balls. So obviously he was either transvestite duck. <laughs> no, uh, seriously. But um, she had two ducks, but now she only has one. So, but he's so cute. If you guys saw my Instagram, you follow my Instagram, it's so cute. This is like, he's like this big fat duck and he's like so cute. He was helping my friend open up her birthday card. You know, he took the card out of the, the, the envelope for her. It was so cute. And you know, she dances with the duck. Um, yeah, he's cute. I like, I like the duck. I do, I like the duck, you know, it's cute. I never thought a duck could be a pet, but he, yeah. He's cool, he's cool peoples, he's cool peoples for sure. And I met my friend's boyfriend for the first time. She's just dating this new guy. He's really nice, I really like him. Um, so yeah, yeah, we had a good time. Um, we had a really good time. It was raining, it's been storming really bad just this last couple of weeks. It's just been really bad, like bad storms, bad weather, like it's just been horrible weather. Um, so yeah, I mean, there's what it is, but today's, today's a beautiful day. Um, so today I'm actually going to be filming, um, my full slash Halloween vlog. Cause I realize everything, everywhere has hollow, the Halloween and full stuff out already. So I'm just going to film it now. I'm going to film it today. I'm going to get my nails done first and then I'm going to film the vlog. I'm going to go around, um, I already filmed some of it. I'm going to, you're going to see a different makeup look in the first like the introduction of the vlog because I was wearing something completely different and then today is going to be a dip you're going to see you know obviously a different makeup look with the vlog but um because I went in the span of a few days shopping you know so um yeah I can't wait I'm really excited I'm going to go to Target I'm going to go to Bath and Body Works I'm not getting anything at Bath and Body Works I'm just going literally just to film just to show you guys the stuff and then I'm going to go to Sephora the supermarket um and so yeah it's going to be a good a good time I want to get a few cute Halloween shirts and stuff from um, Target because I know Target has a lot of great Halloween and fall items. I might even get some of the Halloween candy now. But I'm definitely going to get my nails done. I want to get my toes done. So yeah, I definitely... It's gonna be a girly day today, girly shopping day. Still gonna do a day in my life vlog. I'm gonna definitely try to do that. Um, I wanna do that next month. I'm gonna be filming so many vlogs and videos because I'm gonna do the Disney World vlog and that's gonna be a huge vlog, a huge vlog. Yeah, that's gonna be a huge vlog. So I'm gonna be there for a few days. I'm gonna try to split it in two parts. I may do, Mickey's Not So Scary Party and uh, if I do Universal Horror Nights, I'll put them together and then I'll do the you, the um, Hollywood Studios and the Epcot days together. So I don't know. I'm going to try to think of something to do because I'm not going to do just one big video. That's going to be too long. <laughs> That's going to be too long. I'm not even going to try to attempt that. And you may not get it right after I come back because remember, I'm going to have to, I have to download all the videos and edit it, I have to edit everything together, cut stuff out, put piece everything together, make it look cohesive. So it's gonna be like, it's gonna be a, a, probably like a few days when I, after I get back before you're gonna get um, the vlog, but I'm gonna try to get it up as soon as I get back from the trip, as fast as I can. Um,
Yeah, I'm really excited. So, um... Gotta blend, gotta blend. Okay, so... Let's go into some shimmers here. Um... Yes, I'm gonna go into... Imagine. Okay, so I put you guys closer because I realized you guys were a little far away, so I had to put you guys closer. Um, and now I'm going to go into Deserted. This is a really pretty shifty shade. Like, look. This is such a pretty shifty shade. I'm just going to put this right here, like, in the in the corner right there, going into my... Oh, my God, what we just did. Okay, so now I'm gonna do concealer. I cleaned up a little bit, but I gotta clean up even more. I put eyeliner and stuff on, but now I'm gonna do the concealer. Jeffree Star. So I wanna talk about, I, then I went back to PA uh, a few days ago and I went to Hershey Park with uh, my friends. And we did Chocolate World and we did, you know, the theme park. I got some souvenirs. I got a bracelet and some fresh homemade chocolate fresh from, it wasn't even in a box. It literally was freshly made in the, like the Hershey Park, like freshly made. And I had, but they put like, um, I, cut, I picked the ones I wanted out of the, you know, the stuff. And then they put it in a box for me. And then I also got like this Reese's Peanut Butter Chocolate Cupcake. Oh, so good. Um, and yeah, we had some fun. We went on some rides. It was so, I love, the rides at Hershey Park are really fun. But um, it, it was a beautiful day, beautiful day. And um, yeah, I had a good time. We had a good time, good time. I drove there, I drove back, you know, the same night, same day. It was a good time, a really good time. Um, so yeah. Okay, so now I'm gonna do liner under my eyes. I just cleaned up with concealer and stuff. I'm gonna do eyeliner under my eyes. I'm gonna go back into the Escape shade here, uh, the dark green, and, and you know, line my lash line with that. But yeah, so I didn't decide to vlog at Hershey Park. I didn't decide to vlog at Hershey Park. I just wanted to relax for the day. You know, it was a three-hour drive, over a three-hour drive there, and then I just wanted to relax. You know. But um, you know, if I you know, go back to Hershey Park anytime soon, I'll definitely vlog it. Especially if I do dark nights. Um, like last year, I'll probably vlog that again. But um, yeah, I just wanted to <clears throat> just chill, you know, just not have to worry about videotaping anything. Okay, so now I'm doing mascara. Um, so I really want to talk about the rest of New Jersey because they didn't have a reunion, but they had their um, re finale, the crazy finale. And um, yeah, the season just ended. It was good. It was really good. It was a good season. It wasn't my favorite. It really wasn't. It wasn't the best. I'm not going to lie, but I definitely think they need to fire everyone. I think the only two that are probably going to stay are Teresa and Dolores. Everyone else are eligible to, to, to leave. I do wish they keep Margaret because Margaret makes great TV, but they might even get rid of her. Um, but hopefully they at least keep her. But I do think they're going to get rid of Melissa finally. They're finally going to get rid of... I think they're going to get rid of Jennifer Aiden. I think they're going to get rid of um, Rachel, Danielle, and I think they're going to get rid of um, Jen Fessler and Jackie Goldschneider. Maybe they'll keep Jackie as a friend. And, Ray, and the Jen Fessler girl as a friend, maybe. But they'll never be main. Um, and they're going to have a bunch of new people. I really did. And they're going to have a bunch of new people. I hate to see Danielle leave because I really like Danielle. But I do think she's going to leave. I think that she, um, she really pissed production off with the way she was acting this season. Throwing things across the table and everything else. So... She's she's probably going to leave. I hope she doesn't, but I do think she will. So they're gonna have to get a whole new cast. They're gonna have to get a whole new cast. All right, that's it. 
that's it. I mean, they've had this cast for a long time. It's enough already. Um, I definitely think they need to finally get rid of Melissa. Melissa's definitely overstayed her welcome. Um, and that's on that. But, um, yeah, I mean, I'm excited for New York City. I don't really like, I didn't really like the new, the last season. I really don't like the new cast, but the trail looks okay. I don't know. I mean, I, I'm a little excited for it. Not like, oh my God about it, but you know, it looks okay. Um, what else? Yeah, but I really think like, like all the blogger shit, all the crazy shit they've been doing behind every production's back. Like, Teresa and Jen with the blogger, and Margaret with the ex-girlfriend, everything, and Jackie with the ex-girlfriend of Louie. They're just really sneaky. Like, they all, like, really want to take each other down. Like, it became a really toxic shit fest. And I think production, Andy, and everyone is just fed up with it all. Like, it really, like, it's one thing to have drama. They want the drama. But they don't want pe them to contact bloggers and contact ex -girl ex-girlfriends and like really try to like hurt people's families and kids and all. no, I mean, that's just too much. It's too much. The finale was good, you know. Um, I don't think it's this big bomb that got dropped that Margaret was talking to the ex. We knew she was talking to the ex. Jackie, we kind of knew too. I mean, Jackie was not the best friends of Teresa at the time, so we kind of knew that too. So there really wasn't any bombs dropped that was so shocking and oh my God, but I mean, it is what it is. You know, um, they had their last final hurrahs. They had their last final little dinner. And that's it. That's it. I don't think um, I don't know Yeah, I definitely think the only two that are definitely staying are Teresa and Dolores I think that's it I don't know I mean it was definitely a um, I mean the finale was good I think the most shocking part was probably Dolores screaming at Margaret. Um, it was a little bit over the top and ridiculous. Even if if Margaret was making that little thing up, I mean, it was a little ridiculous how angry Dolores got. I mean, it was a little stupid. Like she was acting as if she fucked her boyfriend or something. It was really crazy. Um, so yeah, Margaret definitely didn't deserve that outburst. But whatever, Dolores <laughs> decided to, to go crazy on her in that in, in that scene. The whole thing's so ridiculous. The whole thing, like... I also don't think how, like... Margaret contacting Louise X is gonna really do anything. Like, at the end of the day, like, people are gonna talk. They talked about it, whatever, but it's not like they're... It's gonna, like, ruin the whole family or something. Like, at the end of the day, that X really wanted this information out there about Louie. I think she really did. She wanted to, I don't know, want people to get back at him or whatever it is. But I do think Margaret was talking to the ex since the beginning. However, I don't think that she did anything with that information. Like, I don't think she went to blogs and, and magazines and whatever else. I don't think she did that. I do think she was talking to the ex since the beginning. I definitely do. I think Melissa did too, and Jackie obviously did as well. Okay guys, so I did everything, almost everything off camera. I did, I cleaned out my eyes, fixed, finished my eyes, I did contour, highlight, blush, all that. Now it's time for lips. So I'm gonna do um, the BFF lip liner. This is a snap, gotta get BFF. Here we go, BFF from ColourPop lip liner. I don't know what I'm gonna do for lips. I don't know what I'm doing for lips. 
I'm either gonna do celebrity skin or just mannequin. I always do mannequin. Mannequin's my favorite. I may just do mannequin. Mannequin's my favorite, you guys. You already know. Okay, but BFF lip liner from ColourPop first. Okay, so now it's time for mannequin lip liner from Jeffree. Classic. Okay, so now it's time to do lip gloss. So I'm gonna do the Banana Bonanza lip gloss. So I feel like it goes with the jungle theme, you know? So we're gonna put that on and then I might top it with Diamond Juice Lip Gloss from Jeffree. But yeah, I love this. It smells just like banana candy. Oh, it smells so good. Okay, so lip gloss is on. Now it's time to do fragrance. So I'm gonna do the Golden Mango Lagoon Body Mask from Bath & Body Works. So we're gonna spray this on. Okay guys, so here is a look. The Jungle Fever makeup look. So again, this is my um, tank, leaving it behind in the past. Lion King tank. So here it is, guys. So pretty. Okay. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the Jungle Paper Makeup tutorial. And um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your summer vacation, last week or so of uh, summer. But I've already started full. <laughs> I already have all my full stuff out. Um, so it is what it is. That's the vibe right now. What I'm going for is full. Like, you guys know I bring my full stuff out in the middle of August. But a lot of people still celebrate summer until literally September 1st. So um, but anyways, I love you guys. And I'll see you next time. Bye.